uh, going back to Larry Allen. Yeah. Uh, We're just uh, about to get to Larry Allen. So oh, I'm, I'm good sorry. Segue. Good, right. good, good okay, segue. Good segue. Good, 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 good. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, a guy named Victor Wembenyana <laughs> has, uh, has posted a, a comment on our, on our podcast here. It says, rest in peace, Larry Allen. Goat, offensive lineman in uh, uh, Cowboys history. Only 52, so young. Yeah, yeah. that's true. I Very mean, sad. Let, let's get to Larry Allen right now. Um, I think I, – I, was over in the other room and I just saw on my phone because I have Adam Schefter's tweet notifications on that Larry Allen dies at 52 and I was like what like 52 years old it didn't I think like that shocked me more than like Bill Walton last week just because Bill Walton's 71 you look at the sheer age of these of these guys and someone dying at 52 years old even as big as Larry Allen is because he's a larger than life person actually physically and his personality but it it, it it hits you, man. It hits you when somebody dies suddenly while they're on vacation. And that it's just like, wow. Awful. Largest, strongest human being, uh, maybe in the history of the NFL. Bench press 700 pounds. Ran right at 5'1", 40, at 325 pounds. The famous play his rookie year when he runs down. The linebacker uh, from the, the Saints. Yeah. On the, on a what should have been a pick six. The, the video of him bench pressing 700 pounds and then – Rocket Ismail diving onto the bench onto his lap while yeah. he's still got the weight in his hands. Crazy. That's stupid. I saw that a little earlier because obviously that's what happens. I remember that's, that. That's the good part of social media is everyone can kind of share their thoughts and, and um, mm-hmm. memories of people who die instantly. I saw that because I don't, I'm not old enough to remember that in my conscious lifetime. Who dives on somebody when they have seven hundred pounds right. over over top of them? Like, I, rem- come on. <laughs> I remember for the giant hooter that he always had in his lip. He had always had a massive dip. Never really talked to us much in the locker room because he was painfully shy. But his Hall of Fame speech, he's t- he thanked his wife, and I, I think her name was Janelle. I forget her name, but he said, uh, uh, "I want to thank my wife Janelle. Uh, on our first date, she cooked me dinner. She made me." Two whole chickens, French fries, and a forty ounce. Good lord! <laughs> and he said, "He said, and I knew right then that she would be my wife." <laughs> right, and he got Chuck. to her first before we could get to her. <laughs> Chuck, favorite uh, Larry Allen story or memory? Well, you know, on that team, which obviously was replete with superstars, he was the one guy that you didn't really get to know very much because he was so anti media. And, you know, that's okay. There, there were plenty of other talkers on the team. But just the sheer respect that that guy had in his locker room and around the league and then within the organization, too, always available, always played. You never had to worry about that guy on your team. I mean, just literally larger than life for all of the physical attributes. And as we lead into the Tyler Smith soundbite, uh, you know, I hadn't honestly thought about Larry Allen in a long time. And – a reporter in the scrum the other day mentioned to Tyler Smith that management had said, hey, they're comparing you to a young Larry Allen. And so he had an, an initial response to it, which was very nice. But then another reporter asked him, so what do you know about Larry Allen? And all of a sudden it was Tyler Smith, like, you know, Wikipedia Jr., I mean, it's huge for sure. Uh, obviously, you know, just knowing Larry and everything he did, you know, how great he was. You know, this is my mission to be the best me I can be, you know, be the best Tyler Smith I can be every single day. You know, just improve, stay hungry, you know, never lose that passion and just continue to get better. What do you know about Larry? Man, I know a little bit. You know, Sonoma State, uh, I mean, should he almost died of meningitis when he was a kid. He's very tough. Um Bro, just a dog. You know, I've seen the tape. Obviously, extremely athletic. You know, famous for the chase down block against the Saints. Uh, one of the best pulling guards probably to ever play in the NFL. Because not many people is doing people like that anymore. Wikipedia Junior, I check. Yeah. I mean, just like, boom, boom, boom. Sonoma State. It's like, yeah, that's right. He did go to Sonoma State. I'm sitting there <laughs> thinking, like, geez, don't try to trick Tyler Smith on something. He's right. going to let you know. But you know, just weird how weird how uh, sometimes. Worlds collide, yeah. you know, and then all of a sudden, you know, three days later, we're having this conversation and then airing that soundbite. You know, I was thinking last night, I really didn't have a place for any of the Tyler Smith sound that we had that we got over uh, on Thursday. And I was thinking, you know what, I'm going to run that bite about Larry Allen and just, you know, talk about how great a player 
Tyler is in his own right, and then now you know we're going to be running that soundbite today for different it, yeah, reasons. Yeah, in a different kind. And here's the thing about Larry Allen. It's, just, yeah, it's it so is. creepy. You texted me that earlier, and I was like, wow, that's a, a coincidence, but it's a sad right. coincidence. It, Larry Allen and is not going to be remembered as one of the top five greatest Cowboys of all time, but he was. Because you have Roger, and you have Emmett, and you have Drew, and you have the triplets with uh, Aikman and, and Irvin, and you have Bob Lilly, and Randy White, and all of these great Cowboys that are in the Hall of Fame already. Rod Woodson. And, and he is too. Who? Rod Woodson. Yeah. Oh. Darren Woodson. Darren, sorry, Darren Woodson. Uh, but statistically, Pro Bowl-wise, the best to ever play his position, I mean – Roger Staubach wasn't the greatest to ever play his position, but he's the greatest cowboy. Larry Allen was the greatest guard to ever play in the NFL. And his Pro Bowls and his pancakes, dirt blocks is what he called them, putting people in the dirt. The guy was as dominant a football player that has ever lived and is probably a top five cowboy of all time. We forget it because of the position he played. Well said. Uh, Bob, any other ones for now? No, we're good. Um, I think we're going to end on that instead. Of, we're going to get to Spurs stuff on Thursday, and we'll get to more Cowboys stuff on Thursday as well. But I can't imagine ending, ending it on a better note than uh, talking about the great Larry Allen, de- dead way too soon at 52 years old. So rest in peace, and obviously thoughts and prayers go to his family. And I, hope, I don't even know if they're still on vacation, but the fact that he passed away on vacation really sucks. Yeah. Um, that's all we got for you today on the Sneakers Cleats podcast on this Monday. We are uh, going to have Michelle Beadle at some point over the next couple of weeks. So we'll let you know on social when when that happens uh, and when you can tune in for that. But remember to download, rate, review, subscribe. Give us a five-star rating. Tell a friend, tell an enemy. We will be back on Thursday with some more Spurs and Cowboys stuff. Until then, everyone have a good week.